Hello from Texarkana. This city's name is a portmanteau of Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana, which is pretty cool because it's, it's kind of on the border between all three. I am currently on the fifth floor of a pretty standard hotel along the freeway, and I'm looking out the window at a Wendy's, a Taco Bell, a McDonald's, a Popeye's, I see a Burger King, a Waffle House, and a Denny's. The view is um, quite expansive, and it's got me thinking about food again. On the second episode of this microcast, I talked about canned foods and the kinds of memories we associate with them, how canned foods are often a part of life when we don't have a ton of financial resources or time to cook. And by the way, you can listen to that episode right now on YouTube if you missed it. Anyhow, on today's episode, I'm wheeling my cart back to the greatest aisle in the grocery store and talking to a few more people about their favorite canned foods and what they mean to them. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Lauren, I already know the answer to this because I've lived with you throughout much of my adult life. But tell me about your favorite canned food and what it means to you. Well, my favorite canned food is refried beans. Sometimes, depending on how I'm feeling, I like a little kick, like some jalapeno in there. Um, It reminds me of college with you because I used to make this thing called a mush, (laughs) which, as you remember, had refried beans, non-dairy cheese, rice. I think sometimes I put an egg in there. Maybe that's something I do now as an adult, now that I'm sophisticated. And um, some hot sauce or, or salsa. And that just is very comforting and reminds me of a really good time in my life when we lived together. Mush makes me think of that moment in our like early adulthood when anything was possible. <laughs> and you just ate bowls of like brown, unidentifiable dinner. I ate it enough. Yes, that's true. And I ate it enough that our friend Tina got me a spoon, my own customized spoon that said mush on it because I ate this meal for so many meals in college. And as an adult, I now have, the only upgrades are, I now put it in a tortilla and sometimes have an egg in it. And I still love it. If it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Don't fix it. Keep mushing. Keep on mushing. Keep on mushing on the free world. Keep on mushing in the free world. Okay, Tom. Yeah. My favorite Englishman. Uh Uh-huh. Talk to me about your favorite canned food or a canned food memory and what it evokes for you. Ooh. Well, I feel that as an English person, I should say Heinz baked beans because beans means Heinz. And because uh, that's just a classic, I think that's probably as a, especially a kid, that's the first canned good you'd come in contact with because beans are great. Beans are good on toast with cheese. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I've never known how to say Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce is one of those things I see and I avoid saying. Worcestershire. I can't speak anyway normally. So <laughs> Worcestershire. Worcester. You kind of just mumble it out and hope someone understands what you're saying. If you're listening and you know how to say wor- Worcestershire sauce or whatever, um, please contact me on the internet. With a voice memo of how to say this correctly. Cheers. (laughs) I'm talking to Emily. Emily, what's your what's your like official title? Um, Seth's assistant or something. I don't know. (laughs) I don't think I have an official title. I just help out. Okay. So this welcome to the music industry where everything's confusing and no one has clear roles. Um, But we love our jobs. But we love our jobs. Emily, what is your favorite canned food and why? This might be a lame and basic answer, but I'm going to have to say green beans, mainly because they remind me of home. I always eat them when I go home with my parents. Very, very simple. 
I think that's a beautiful answer. Beautiful. I love green beans. Especially if you add potatoes, like some little diced potatoes, you know, some garlic, occasionally chopped up bacon. Ooh, what do you think? Here's something. This is a real question. Whenever I see like green beans with sliced almonds, I'm like, why is this happening? I don't think I would enjoy the like crunchiness of the almond with the, you know, the texture of a green bean. Okay, so check this out. You, what you saying this? A canned green bean is so soft. Oh my god! Like. No, I agree. That's why they're amazing. It's, they're just easy to eat, I guess. It's like baby food for adults. Right. You just mash them up. <laughs> I like my food in a can. Kidney beans, maybe spam. Plum tomatoes from overseas. Chicken soup and refried beans. Hearts of palm and artichokes. Yeah, I know how to get the party going. If you're looking for dessert, I got sweet peaches well preserved. I'm here with my tour manager, Sam. Sam, what is your favorite canned food and why? I'm going to have to go with canned chickpeas. I really like their utility. You can eat them without cooking them. You can blend them into hummus. You can make baked treats with them. You can rinse them off and put them in a salad. I like their versatility. So you have a, a utilitarian appreciation for chickpeas. Would that be accurate to say? That is very accurate, and I think that if the apocalypse happened and I needed to have a canned food, they would work for all dietary restrictions. So, yeah, right, in this gluten-free, dairy-free world, chickpeas will save us all. 100%. That's 100% correct, yes. A fly just <laughs> flew into both of our faces. <laughs> when I'm stressed out, one of the things that I like to do is make up bad jokes. So without further ado... When the world's not funny but you need to laugh, it's joke time. What do you call sad genetic material? Blue jeans. <laughs> Thanks for letting me talk so much about canned foods. I had the idea for this episode and people thought I was crazy. <laughs> but... Then they started thinking about their memories of green beans and chickpeas and artichoke hearts and Vienna sausages, and it kind of started to make sense. Also, I don't know if this really counts as a canned food, but I love raspberry jam, and I kind of want to make a PB&J right now. If you want to talk to me about stuff on the internet, you can use the hashtag KFlayShow, or you can email me at thekflayshow at gmail.com. And of course, you can listen to my new album, Solutions, everywhere that you like to listen to music. So there's a new episode of What Am I Doing Here every week. Be sure to set a reminder for the KFlay Show after 9 a.m. on Wednesday. And I'm on tour this fall. Visit kflay.com slash tour to get your tickets.